Bastards, today I want to talk about investments. What, like, what investments should one make as a prepper? What will have their, what will still have their value? What could be handy to keep in, to buy in bulk in stock or something else? So that's what I want to talk about today, and and I will show you, in my opinion, the best uh, products or uh, tools that uh, or other ideas that a prepper can uh, invest in. So let's start this party. The first thing a prepper always should invest in are skills. What do I mean by that? Uh, I mean the knowledge. I mean, yeah, knowledge, practice with several in several different points or areas. Uh, let's talk about um, like medical uh, medical skills like first aid. It's very important so you can give it to others as a service or of course on yourself when yourself are wounded or somebody else like your family or friends getting hurt um on other skills like survival skills uh gardening skills uh tactical uh self-defense uh skills and many many others uh skills uh, it's probably best to uh be to specialize in one specific skill to the most and try to get all the other skills somewhat under wraps but specialization will allow you to be uh, to give uh, to be more uh, proficient at that certain skill so you can use it for uh, services or to get into another area of uh, jobs or something so the first uh, uh, investment would be skills so buy some handbooks about several topics as like building manuals, repair, survival, first aid, all that uh, knowledge. Knowledge is power. So skills and knowledge are the first things to invest in as a prepper. Uh, the next thing uh, a prepper could invest in is land. Why land? Because as long as you... Uh, we live in a world with a lot of people and every place on the, on this planet is of someone so you can win some independence when you can buy a, a piece of land alone or with other people and try to make it uh, off grid and that will empower you to be more self-sufficient and not to be dependent on others so uh, that's the only thing i would say to invest in as in debt like when you take a loan for a piece of land, that's something I would uh, consider as a good investment with a debt. Because uh, many people will uh, take loans for other things like cars or something like repairs in their homes, uh, like more aesthetic repairs instead of useful repairs or investments where they take loans from. So. For such things, I would not consider uh, taking a loan. But land, yes, certainly do it, empower yourself, try to live off grid, and it will go to your children so they can take advantages, all advantages of the same land uh, in the future. So, and another thing about uh, buying land is it will increase in value because. Here, like here in Belgium, we only have a certain amount of area. Every every year, more and more people are born or coming living living here. So, more people, less land. It's like pure economics. Uh, the value of the land will go up. So, it's a very good investment that will always uh, even grow in value over the years. So, buying land is the second thing. Uh, next thing, I have here several uh, tools uh, I would say to invest in, um, which which should be started. Um, talking about land, I would advise to invest in a garden and more in seeds. 
uh, why seeds are the future. You literally see, see uh, grow what you sow. So I have here a box with uh, all kinds of gardening seeds that are packaged and dried and packaged. So it's a good way like you invest time and effort and those plants will, will make seeds. You can gather those seeds and the, the nutrient of the foods you make of your own. You don't have to pay for other people to make that food. Every meal you make yourself is a meal saved, especially when you take the seeds from it, so you can sew again next year. So it's like invest the uh, investing in hairdo to say. So seeds, another good investment. That is a uh, how do they say it? A pet peeve of me, rice, rice, uh, white rice. It's an investment in on it on. It's an investment that will go long for 30 years if you store it in a dry, cool, dark place and in a vacuum sealed uh, package. Rice, you can buy it now very cheap, in bulk even, but in the future when there is more people, uh, problems with uh, transportation and supply, food will get probably, and also by inflation, food will grow probably get more expensive, uh, more uh, troublesome to supply it to the markets or other places. So buy your rice now very cheap and it will be, be, more, to war, uh, will be worth more in the future, especially uh, within the 30 years if you store it correctly. So rice, you can never go wrong with it. Uh, next to rice, I would also advise to buy a uh, dried pasta. Uh, it's also you can also buy this in large bulk. Uh, same the same deal actually. This uh, will stay good for 15, 15 years. Uh, like I said, when you keep it in a dry, dark, uh, dr uh, cool place in a uh, airtight uh, package. So dried pasta also a very good investment. As long as you, you you will of course eat it. Uh, next, honey. It might sound uh, sound uh, stupid, but honey is liquid gold. Uh, why do I say this? Because it will never go bad. Honey. They found they uh, recently found honey in tombs in Egypt, and it's still edible. You can, if you buy real honey, not the the sugary syrup uh, laced one in the supermarkets, but I mean real honey, it's maybe more, a little bit more expensive, but it will be worth. It's healthy, it's energy, it will never go bad, and it's antibacterial, so you can even use it for wounds, and it's good against uh, several illnesses. So, real honey, don't forget real honey is a very good investment, especially when there are problems like now with beehive collapse disorders going all around the world. And recently in Belgium, we have an invasive species like the hornets, I think Japanese hornets, that came into Belgium and Europe and are now taking over beehives. So it's a good investment while it still lasts. So next. Um, tools. That is just an example. A tool, and I'm talking more about tools that are uh, manual. Like this is one of those uh, uh, drills. You can lower it down when you crank it uh, open. So uh, I'm talking about tools that you can use without electricity or batteries. Uh, why? Because several disasters could happen, like uh, by f because of uh, war, financial trouble, uh, natural disasters, uh, electricity could be a problem from time to time. And especially during disasters, your house may get damaged and you need to do some quick repairs. You don't always have the tools, especially when there is something like an EAP, which is very small, but still a chance. So... Uh, 
Manual tools are a good investment. Um, even your children and perhaps your grandchildren can use it. You probably saw it in my previous videos. Tools like the hand drills, my washing plunger, uh, which is 70, uh, 87 years old, still works fine uh, without a hitch. So that's a good way to invest. Next. This is another pet peeve of mine. I will always say it. The perky water filter. Having a way to filter your own drinking water is a good investment and it will empower you to, uh, to save money, uh, save on uh, your dependency, dependency. How do I say this? That you are not dependent on other people and, in, and organizations like water supply. Whenever you can have a clean water for 11 years with uh, this investment, I'm still amazed by it. It will filter everything uh, from uh, viruses, pathogens, bacteria, metals, even medicines that are in the that are not filtered out in the regular water supply, and even nuclear particles from a certain alpha. So I stand by my ground. The water filter, uh, Berkey water filter, a very good investment. I don't regret any second of it. It's worth every euro I put in this. So, and that's another thing. Um, another thing to invest in are, show you, is gold. Uh, these are like uh, little plaquettes of gold. Um, why? Because gold is one of those precious metals that will never really go under the price you bought it actually uh, especially when more and more people and the industry around the world are growing uh, like i said pure economics the people will ask about it perhaps people will also more invest in it so the value will go up because it gets more scarce and it has several reasons actually because it's a way to turn your paper or money in the bank into a, a certain value that will remain that same value or even more in the future let's say you have one euro in, in your bank account well because of inflation or other problems in the economy uh, because like higher prices uh, or you lost your job uh, things will get uh, more expensive so that one euro you had a few years ago will be like perhaps 80 cents now because when you look it back at it on it a few years later gold has not that problem if you take um, money that money from the bank put it in gold um, you retain that value uh, what i like to do is i take uh, i take in little uh, plaques of gold as possible so i can put it in my bug out bag when i have to bug out so that's Another way to retain some to keep some of your value even when you uh, have to bug out. So gold, good investment, I would say. But to be honest, the big problem is it might get stolen because you have it in your own house and people will maybe try to rob it when they know about it. So try to also another problem could be. Um, some people buy gold, but they leave the gold with with a certain company, like not in the bank vault, but they say to a company, uh, I want to buy gold and they have just a certificate. But to me, that's sort of a scam because who's, who you, when you want that gold, who say they have it. They only have a paper that says we have your gold, but yeah, that's that sounds a little bit fishy in my uh Ice. So, uh, another thing is, I would say, uh, stockpiles that you can buy in bulk. What do I mean by that? Things that we use every day or a lot regularly that are now cheap uh, because we can, we can. It's now because we can. But in the future, it will maybe be more expensive to make because. 
perhaps the they don't the some mines are closed or they don't get the products to make that certain products uh, it will get cheaper uh, it will get more expensive to make for the same price because of rising energy prices so you know, a little example are uh, tea lights and matches uh, I would say by one by this in bulk you can do the same you can say the same about certain food types some medicines or uh, like to like like nail like certain things you use for repairs like nails in bulk duct tape all the things that you once you use it you have used it and it will re uh, uh, it depends on how you match you buy it so you can buy it now cheap in bulk uh, if you have the chance, do it. And you will always have it in your stockpile. So you can see it more as a way to bar bar barter later on in a after a disaster or in economical troubles or if you want to help some other people. You always have some extra in stock you can use for this. So it's sort of a way to retain your value of the same product like with the gold. But this is will be a far less on that way. So... Um, things that doesn't go bad but you can buy in bulk all right uh, hunting uh, um, perhaps we could say uh, self-defense and hunting at the same time uh, what do I mean by that uh, self-defense I mean things you can just defend yourself with like a knife a baton or just a baseball bat or a gun um, or a bow or a crossbow or something something to defend yourself when times are getting bad when criminals are on the rise when there is conflict around your area so a way to defend yourself uh, the first way to invest in self-defense is i would say training uh follow like easy def ways of uh systems of defense like krav maga that is, in my opinion, one of the best uh, ways to defend yourself. Uh, even when you're weak, a child, a woman, older or handicapped, Krav Maga teaches you not only to how to directly defend you against uh, bigger, maybe multiple opponents, but it teaches you how to prevent the situation in the first place and rather to get out of the problem than to face the problem. But when you have to face the problem, Krav Maga will train you in uh, self-defense against multiple uh, attackers, weapons, uh, uh, protection of VIP, choking, uh, when you work to the ground, uh, bear holds, dosing, all, all those kinds of things. And it will also teach you how to deal with the stress of a, a violent situation. But that's the first thing, like like I said before, that's more part of the skills that you can invest in. I'm now going to talk about the uh, tools of self-defense. So we talked knives, uh, crossbows, uh, baseball bats. But if you buy a gun, I would always uh, suggest if you're going for a, for a real gun, you can, you can never go wrong with a revolver. Um, why would you invest in a revolver? Uh, because it's easy to clean, it's mechanical more reliant to use, it's easier to use and to learn how to use, and it will teach you how to preserve your ammo, to say. Because when you when people have like pistols with big clips, they tend to be more spray and pray to, instead of accurate shots, so it's more saving on ammo and um, when you don't have uh, a way to how do you say it when you cannot have the time or or for some other reason you cannot get a license for a gun in your country you could invest in a bla a revolver with blanks why do i not say a pistol with blanks because a pistol with blanks it's easier to see the with a pistol uh, it will tap some of the gas in the above so a possible attacker will see will re easily recognize recognize a 
alarm uh pistol with blanks then a revolver with blanks because the the fire of the shot will like a real revolver go to the sides more so it's harder to detect blanks with a revolver and it will scare the attacker away even if they are armed people try to tend to will ne will not like to take risks when they are in a violent situation uh, normally i would say of course but um uh, yeah this uh, is possible a real gun or a gun with blanks talking about which um hunting tools can be also be used for self defense and for um hunting in that case um you can you can see one of those uh, air rifles you can have buy a lot of ammo of these in uh, stock so it's uh, very cheap uh, it's a very handy hunt hunting tool perhaps also a, a self defense if it's power powerful enough but it's also a way to get food like hunting on wild game rabbits birds pheasants or something so that's a way to um invest some of uh, those tools you can also it's an investment in your safety that's the a good insur insurance to invest in to say so um another thing that goes with the self defense is uh, these are just some examples uh tools for uh maintenance of your weapons and ammo why do i say this this is a kit for cleaning all sorts of uh, gun weapons uh, some oil that's also good for the maintenance of the weapons just the if you buy ammo I would always suggest to seal it in an airtight vacuum uh, package why so it's as less chance to corrode which could happen when you just uh, lay it around in your cupboards so you keep your long bullets longer fresh to say and uh, they will less get chance to get damaged and you can barter with it later on i would never barter with someone i don't know with ammo but you can do it with people you trust you like friends family and such and such so ammo cleaning tools and oils for maintenance is a good investment too uh, perhaps some something sounds stupid but invest in a multi-tool a good one because a good multi-tool will get you a long way in all everyday situations so another thing to invest in um, those are the best things to invest in um, now i would say the things i i would not invest in or i would not advise to invest in so uh, the things i would i personally would never invest in are uh, cryptocurrency why because you hear you only hear the success stories you never hear about, about all the people who lost money with it with that and that and that cryptocurrency uh, so and it's always changing it's a way to make it more digital make your money dependent on other people which is already does but it can change just in one minute and your pro your words of your money is probably totally down so cryptocurrency i would not uh, invest in uh another thing to in to not invest in is um i would I say this um things like you can uh collect like people say they collect uh, valuable stamps coins perhaps gold or silver coins but like uh collectible coins uh cars that are perhaps valuable oh, because of the old timers or something else those things i would not invest in because it's only it will only be worth something when people have money to spend it like in good times in good economics when people have money to spend so for a rainy day it's not really a good investment i would say um another thing is uh in uh, stock on the stock market uh, yeah people can make money with it if you really know how to invest it but it's a it's a monopoly i would say it's like a game of monopoly uh,
people who invest in the stock market, like for their bread winning, they tend to be very busy with it, make contacts, and uh, it's just a scam to me. Because it's because of the stock stock market that uh, how do I say this? The that the economy often fails because uh, they will lie to their shareholders to make profits for their bonuses. It's very good for the people who are inside of it, but it's just a gambling game. So don't uh, invest in stocks unless you really believe in the company uh, that you will think it will grow and be a valuable part of society and not just a part of a game of greed, to say. Um, another thing not to invest in... Uh, well, this might sound... Not many people will know about this, but there are certain companies or organizations who invest in proper security. What is that? People will pay monthly a certain amount uh, of, of money and in, in exchange they will get a seat in some sort of prepper bunker. But the people usually the people who make these preppers uh, insurances, as they like to call it, they they bet on it that it will never happen, that they will never u use it. So they will only open it when the times are bad or on special conditions. But I would say it's very dangerous. You really have to know those people before or you tr try to get part of something like that. Because otherwise uh, the people will guard it, the people will maintain it, the people will own it. They can just can say, oh, shit really had hit a fan now. So close the doors and fuck all who is who's now still out there. So that's a, a risky investment that can backfire. Um, another thing to not invest in is, uh, how do you say this? Uh, obligations like bonds. Uh, imagine like the war bonds during World War II, but... The currently obligations from the state because a state is a state can fall as the state can get into a civil war the state can get in so much financial problems uh, or budget budgetary problems that they will not like it uh, they will not pay it off or they are, or pay less because of certain events so it's very risky unless you are certainly that your country will can withstand the storm to say like it happens uh in certain countries when like in Russia in Russia during the Bolshevistic revolution um the Russia uh set war bonds on people buy war bonds so they have temporary money and would get rent but they lost and the people would never see their money so it's very risky in that regard. Um, that's about it, I think, to on the part of uh, bad investments. So you saw in what I would would invest, and you saw in what I uh, you heard about in what something I would not invest. So um, I hope you learned something from it. Uh, don't take my uh, it's just my personal advice. So don't take hundred uh, percent guarantee. Of what I say. Now it's just my opinion and views upon the future. Um, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if I forgot something, or perhaps you have a good tip for me or for other people. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye. See you next time.